This is CNN Breaking News. We're getting breaking news about a very serious collision involving a U.S. Navy destroyer. I'm going to quickly go to our Pentagon correspondent, Barbara Starr. Barbara, what are you hearing? Wolf, this happened just a few hours ago off the coast of Japan, where daylight is now breaking. A U.S. Navy warship, the USS Fitzgerald, we have some photos of it underway some time ago to show, co apparently collided with a merchant ship off the coast of Japan, according to the U.S. Navy. Here is what is so concerning at this hour. The U.S. Navy confirming that the ship is now take, has taken on some water. The ship is listing. The Japanese Coast Guard is on scene rendering assistance. The U.S. Navy says that there uh, are some U.S. Navy personnel who are injured. They are trying to determine that. We're getting some new pictures in, I believe, right now of what is happening off the coast of Yokosuka, Japan. That is on Japan's southeast coast as the Japanese Coast Guard is arriving on scene at first light to assist this U.S. Navy warship. You see it listing there. Uh, there is a merchant ship it collided with. Uh, we don't know how that happened. We don't know the status of the merchant ship. Uh, the Navy seeking more details at this hour, and we are told this is now a major incident. The ship is not in danger of sinking, the Navy emphasizes, but families are being notified, Wolf, about this incident. Not in danger of, being, uh, uh, of sinking at this point. Uh, I'm told, I'm looking at uh, the information we have on the USS Fitzgerald. It usually has a crew size of about 330 sailors. That's a lot of sailors and presumably some Marines on board as well. Uh, this is a ship that is actually home ported in Japan uh, as part of the forward U.S. naval presence, uh, actually to be a defensive presence against North Korea. This is a ship that has a, is a missile defense ship. Those 330 crew, uh, like every U.S. Navy warship, uh, practice for these kinds of emergencies, we're told. And the Navy has really asked that we emphasize they see no danger at this point of its sinking. But we have to say, as we look at these pictures of the ship listing at this hour, it is not entirely clear what the situation actually is. These Navy ships have a number of protective measures where they can shut off certain areas of the ship. If water comes in, if, if the hull is breached, which is how water comes in, they can shut off certain areas of the ship. Crews practice rapidly moving to safer areas. 